Welcome, Diecast fans. I'm Tom Spanners Watson. And I'm Frank Geary Gibbs. And welcome to the final DRN report for the year. Now, as always, leave us a comment, hit that like button, and of course, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And not just to our channel, but everybody's that you see tonight. Okay, first up in the news, head over to Hot Car Track. He's got some very cool 3D printed stuff for sale. This one here is an open sided garage, which will look great alongside most tracks. Um, in this particular video, Simon takes you through how to assemble it and how it arrives to you. So it comes in flat packed and you just click it all together. It looks very, very cool. So make sure you go and check out Hot Car Track. It's not just this, he has a bunch of track accessories that he's done as well. It's very cool stuff. All right, let's get into the racing. So first up, we head over to drag racing as always, and it's drag city time over at Scorpio Love Smith. So this was a little bit different for him. Instead of just the standard short drag track, it was this drag track, and I love that that Mustang just goes flying off the side of the track there, while the GT40 takes the win. If you're looking for something a bit different, miniature car racing, do four lanes down to two into one fat track at the end, and then my Hot Wheels collection, some tight drag racing action as well. Now tune tracks, again on their double lane curve and this one here you see the chev bell air jumps the lane rolls out leaving the wind to the gt40 yeah, it's funny how many cars jump those lanes cleveland city diecast had more of his battle of the truck series and i love this particular race here you got two classic fords look how those things are flying but check out this slow-mo replay so you see the black truck in the outside started off behind me hits the gas and absolutely gives it the beans to the finish line is brutal and then Low Country had a ton of straight up drag racing on the Boomtown drag strip. And Meal Ticket Raceway. So they f posted another video. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this track has gone. There was a major accident. It took out the whole track and a bunch of other stuff, which is really sad. But go and check it out and give them some support as well. Now, sorry, last time we forgot about the Bone Shaker Brawl over at Blue Line Racing. So we wanted to show this particular race here. So this bone breaker on the inside with the skinny wheels absolutely paid off. Norman Vern Racing were on their indoor track again and I really enjoyed this one. They've got the action cam on the GoPro car in the middle lane, but it actually beat the other two cars to the finish line. <laughs> Look at that. And then Extreme Diecast Racing with racing semi trucks, which is really cool. Again, you don't see a lot of them racing and it was just nice to see them battling it out on the track this time around. And then finally, Road Rage Racing in his drag race had some good close battles there as well. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Release your inner Frank with this classic Give It The Beans t-shirt available from chaoscanyonmerch.online. Welcome back, race fans, into tournaments now. We're going to kick off with the Rats vs. Rods tournament over at Chaos Canyon. And this was awesome. We had so much fun in this. We're just in the qualifying heats. But check out this race here. What a maneuver right at the end. Yeah, there was all sorts of action. I mean, in behind, you got cars going off track and flipping around. But that battle up front was absolutely brilliant with that Falcon pulling a brilliant last second overtake and just picking that hole perfectly. Phrasing, Frank. Phrasing. All right, then Top Driver had some great action on their track as well. Some very tight racing. You see the green car there just absolutely muscling past the white and red car for a second place position there. It was absolutely brilliant. Then we go over to Cooper Cabana over at Monster Motorsports. So this was great. And this is Rust Belt's car the, with the orange wheels there. And look at that. He managed to slip around. And then there's a huge battle for first, but he manages to hold on really nicely. And when you go back and look at the replay to see what happened to the car that was in first place, it's a gate three takedown. Oh, classic gate three. Always on the hunt for new meat that gate. Then we jump over to Diecast Dragger in his most wanted series. And there was some absolutely savage driving in this one. Check out this red car. Pushes his way to the front, then blocks the blue car so that he gets pulled up by the cops as he runs off for the win. Then it's over to Hot Car Track for more fantastic action on the Mount Western Raceway Shorty Track. So uh, this one here has been a lot of fun and I love the finish here. <laughs> this dude's so far in front, he's like, you know what? I'm gonna cross the finish line on my roof. Yeah, that's just classic van action there. And the Migos were back at it, so they haven't been racing for a while, but they're continuing on with the racing champion series that started over at Bay City. And if you haven't seen Bay City, make sure you go and check them out. But there was tons of action on this track 
crashes galore, wipeouts and some really close finishes. A lot of fun to watch, make sure you check out the Amigos. Checkered Flag Contention were also doing a NASCAR series, so they're running, they're running eight cars on their track at once, or in this case there was actually nine because there was one left over from the previous race, that orange one there in that last corner. And then this awesome block by the John Deere car there to stop three others. And then Hot Wheels boys were doing just a short tournament on their new track, so keep an eye out for that one, the track's getting better and better all the time. Main Street Races, we normally associate Main Street with drag racing, but they have started up their hill tournament, and there's some great action there. I love how that white car manages to slip around as the other car goes over in front of him, but gets cleanly passed and takes the win. Now, the YDS has kicked off over at We Race Diecast, so at the moment they're just doing qualifying, so it's single car runs timed to see who's going to make it into the actual tournament. EP Videos were into the semi-finals of their Fast and Furious tournament, and as always, some good racing action, and I loved some of these overtakes and some very close finishes as well. If you haven't seen EP videos, make sure you check it out. Over at Zelda Diecast Racing, there was more racing action in his Teamsters tournament. They're just over halfway through the tournament, so there's plenty of action to catch up on and plenty more action to come, and you can check out the video for who's where and placing. We head over to the den now and they let the wolves loose and these four cars put on a great show. There was some battles all the way to the finish. I thought a couple times there were going to be major wipeouts but some absolutely close racing and I loved this one. That blue car trying everything he could but he just couldn't get around the white car. DJ Triple J over at Power Drive Racing had the Black Fire Tire event and man some of these cars are quick. Check out this orange car out in front, he absolutely smokes the field and the camera can barely keep up with him, he's moving so quick, it was awesome. One of the new tracks on the scene is Shark 56, so we featured them in Track Spy and we had one of their races last time. It's quite a unique layout which is really nice to see and if you haven't checked out the track make sure you head over and have a look. Mini Mafia Motors were doing some live racing action, which was quite interesting. And of course, you see all the cars running at live speed. And then Indiana Diecast Racing continued on with the house car. So Indiana Diecast have these absolutely massive tournaments with close to 200 vehicles entered in each one. So this tournament is going to go on for months. And he's also kicking off, I think in January it is now, it was going to be December, but he is kicking off a death race, which should be awesome. Now, speaking of awesome, we jump over to 3D Bot Maker for the final of the World Auto Racing Muscle Cars versus Tuners. So there was only one muscle car in the final, and he just left the field behind so many times. It was awesome to watch. And of course, we are huge Dodge Charger fans, especially the old 68 to 70 classic. It's a beauty. Oh, it sure is. And he just showed the way in that tournament. Then Rick's Diecast Racing, he's made a couple of updates to his track, extended a few things around. And I really enjoyed this race here. So you see this yellow car trying to push past the Nova out front. The Nova gets up on the side, then there's red car getting up on the side, he almost goes off, but watch the battle up front, that yellow car gets in, actually flips the Nova over, gets up on the sidewall to get around him to find the space and takes the win. Okay, into street racing and we're going to kick off with the Canyon Outlaws, so it was a little bit different this week, it was just fun races, there were no list races, but this is the current leader, Nancy Wilson up against Stand and Deliver, and Stand and Deliver with a beautiful drive there taking the win under all sorts of pressure from Philip de Tank and Nancy Wilson. Yeah, Dick really delivered there. And then back to 3D Bot Maker for King of the Mountain. So that red car that's in, currently in second place was super quick, and that's from Red Pill Racing, which is not surprising why it's so quick. And look at the way he gets around that wreck in front of him, doesn't even slow him down, and he storms down to the finish and leaves the others in his dust. Yeah, Red Pill definitely know what they're doing. All right, off to Eminem Racing League, and they were doing some street racing action this time, so they finished up their Ford battles, and the uh, Lamborghini there <laughs> just getting a little bit loose on the open track and blowing it, unfortunately for him. Now, DRC debuted their new track, so it's essentially the old track, but they've removed the center barrier, so it's open the entire way. And as you can see, there was a bit of carnage and I thought they were all gonna stop there, but check that out. Those two cars managed to muscle past, but it wasn't over there. This BMW out in front got a good lead, but it gets a bit sideways, gets hooked up, and watch the way the Lambo goes nicely around the outside and takes the win and the bonus power jump. All right, Brunhilde Hills, we're doing some street racing as well, going head to head here. 
and <laughs> lots of carnage on their track with cars flipping over as well. 164 Underground Diecast Racing, the only channel so far that runs the cars one behind the other to start them off. I really enjoy that and that caddy was super quick. And then plays Diecast Racing over at Thunder Mountain had all sorts of action with their Nightburners tournament and we're looking forward to our car debuting on that track in his upcoming tournament as well, the Aces High. So that should be a lot of fun. Keep an eye out for that one. If you haven't seen Plays Diecast, make sure you head over to the channel. And if you watch the videos, make sure to leave a comment, like it, and of course, remember to subscribe to the channel. Right, into special events, we're going to kick off with the Batmobile competition over at Live Young Diecast. There was some great tight racing in this one, so all of these custom Batmobiles looked fantastic, and I love some of the paint jobs people have come up with. And of course, they've done a great job building them because there were some super quick cars in that. Now over to Sonora, and as always, you expect some craziness from Sonora, and they absolutely bought it again. So some rocks on the track, Lego figures going flying, and just absolute carnage. I love it, and I love the, all the slow-mos and the different angles. It makes it really fun to watch. Now, Beaverworks were doing a real riders tournament, which was really cool to see. I mean, the cars with the real riders tend to look amazing because they get different rims, and of course, the tires look really good. And these cars actually did surprisingly well. As most of you know, real riders don't tend to do well on the open track and definitely not in the drag track, but they did very well in that tournament. And I love the way the Impala just parks up on that flat spot at the top. Now, it's an awesome tournament over at Flat Rabbit Racing. These guys always put on an entertaining show, but I absolutely love this glow in the dark monster truck race. Isn't that just fantastic? Those trucks look amazing. Yeah, that's very cool. And again, some super close finishes. And then back to Junkyard Joust for more head on. And I love this one. <laughs> that dude just got whipped off the track and thrown miles away. Look at that, he goes off camera and then you just see him past the edge of frame there as well. Got absolutely smoked. Extreme Treadmill Racing put on another race and man, there was just mass carnage in this one. If you want to see how it finished and who took the win, make sure to head over to their track and check it out. Now a special event was Penelope's Unicorn Race of Death over at Rust Belt Racing and this was a lot of fun. There was glitter and rainbows and unicorns. It was very cool. And then finally Tormont Tehran. So these are the home built Sizzlers cars on his custom track and I just love this track. It looks great and these cars are awesome and they just run the three laps so they get back to their start position. If you haven't seen his channel, make sure to go over and check it out. It's well worth a look. It's very entertaining. All right, Tracks by, we've just got one tonight and it's the Cliff International Raceway. So they were doing a live event and kicking off their track finally. So there's been a few holders with the track, but it's finally out. All right, into replays of the week and we're gonna start back with 3D Bot Maker and check out this battle here between first and second. That Dodge just picks that gap perfectly, slips right by him and takes the win. Yeah, that was a beautiful piece of driving absolutely taking advantage of that other driver's mistake. And then here, speaking of taking advantage, Grayson and the Ford Torino there doing a fantastic job getting up the inside of Simon and the Street Creeper. Grayson doing an absolutely superb job there, holds his nerve, takes that line through Kahuna Corner beautifully and takes the win and will be moving on to the semis. And then in this race here, you may have missed that one as well, but keep an eye on that black so fast. That's the SeaTac's tumble there going end over end and then getting down <laughs> and trying to finish. Yeah, that was quite an impressive move from Sammy SeaTac's there, and he did very well overall. This one here was awesome. So you may not have seen it, but keep your eye on the yellow car. So he rolls over, parks across the track, and then the purple so fast comes in flips him over like a pancake and he gets back on his wheels and gets down to finish and he actually held on to second place as well. Look at that, absolutely spanked him up in the air. And then finally, another run from Sonora. Check out the class of the driver in red there. Avoided all of the carnage perfectly, just slides around, gets past the rocks, gets past the cars that are going all over the place and takes the win. Absolutely superb bit of driving. Oh mate, Sonora's always good for some exciting action. 
If you're looking for more tracks to follow, head over to redlinederby.com and have a look at their track directory. So there is a list of a bunch of different YouTube channels over there, and a lot of them we haven't even featured yet because they haven't given us permission. So make sure you head over to redlinederby.com and check that out. We mentioned at the start, this is our last racing report for the year, and at this stage we don't have a date when we're coming back next year. We're just gonna take a break to focus on some racing and some other special events that we wanna do. That's right, so don't fear, there will be plenty more action from Chaos Canyon, it's just the reports we're taking a break from. We really appreciate you watching these reports, and we really hope you support the other channels out there. Alright, that's enough from us tonight, I'm Tom Spanners-Watson, he's Frank the Guru Gibbs, we look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>